away. Hello, everybody. Hi. My name is Darren. Yeah. And we have been the cinema to see a film called Alien Covenant. Alien Covenant. Let's do a spoilery conversation about Alien Covenant because everyone's going to have seen it. Everything. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's spoil everything then. Okay. Two Davids. Well, there's no, there's one David. Oh. There's one David and one oh. Walter. Oh, you spoiled yeah. my spoiler. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I let's d- go from the start. Let's go from the start. What about? No, the film. Okay. Uh, you want us to do the setup? So what it's about? You do the setup. Okay. Uh, so there's a the... <laughs> there's a ship full of people who are going oh, yeah. to. Oh yeah, like two thousand peoples. Yeah, it's about a thousand. Um, what's the word? Colonize. They're going to colonize a planet. And They're then all they looking hear... forward to it, aren't they? They've got like they brought wood. Well, I'm sure, sure they have if they want to colonize it. At least fifty percent. It's a long term goal, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, er, anyway, they hear a you know signal, much like an alien. So they decide What's to. What's the signal? It's Numi Rapace from Prometheus singing a song. Uh, Is that who it was? Yeah. Did didn't, you not know who it was? Didn't get on that. When he was talking about Shaw all the time. That was Numi oh, Rapace's I thought, character. I thought he was just asking her. You sure? <laughs> you sure? You I sure? buried Shaw here. <laughs> now we know. Um, er, yeah, so she's singing a song, so they go and investigate like an alien, and things don't turn out too well like an alien, because David <laughs> is there, alien. like in Prometheus. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, David's been waiting there, and he's been growing his hair out and everything. Well, I don't think it? that's what he was there to do. I think it just happened. Well, it's part of what he was doing, wasn't it? Yeah, I guess he was in the same way that we, well I am now. <laughs> that wasn't ten years of hair. He's been cutting his yeah. He's been cutting his well, hair all along. I, I, let's not spend too long talking about the hair cutting. I liked his hair though. Okay. Um, I reckon he could have been like Smeagol because it was all like thin, wasn't it? It was all like weird. Yeah, maybe it was Smeagol. Maybe it was maybe it was, maybe it was, it was... <laughs> Um <laughs> So did you enjoy this film from what you understood of it? Uh, <clears throat> you know what? I I wasn't so sure at first, but it it's grown on me. I, I really enjoyed sure? it. You weren't so sure. So I wasn't so sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What were you so sure, sure about? I wasn't sure. Uh, I, mean, no, I you just wasn't sure. sure. I wasn't a fan, incredibly, of the um, incredible inc- <laughs> of the special effects. What the hell? That's a stupid thing to be. Yeah. But the thought, it looked great. No, I don't think so. There was something off about it. What? The special effects. In what way? I don't know. Because the special like, effects were pretty I think fucking it, perfect, Graham. No, they weren't perfect. They were pretty fucking perfect. I don't know. What some, was unperfect about them? It was like them? the frame rate of them was oh, all a bit off. No, no, no. Fuck don't off. be like that, Darren. What am it I being like? It took me out of it, and you asked me a question, so I'm telling you. It was like, it was like jumpy. I don't know. It's hard to kind of see. Oh, an alien movie was jumpy. God no. forbid. <laughs> I mean, the actual, <laughs> the actual movement what the fuck of the alien. I think your eyes are... I think there's something wrong with your eyes. My eyes are like faster than like frames of a you cinema saw... screen. Okay, just to put this into context. Oh, come on, come on. Just to put this into context, gr- gr- context. Idiot. Graham says the special effects weren't quite good enough for him. We once saw a bird fly past, and he said that he could draw it more realistically than he just saw it. So maybe there's a problem. You're taking with your that eyes. comment out of context. But I you am know. absolutely not. You were suggesting that you could draw a picture better than reality. I did say that, but and that's what you meant. So when you say the special effects aren't so good. They're fucking fine. Don't Look, worry about it. I'm not it. arrogant. It's just... Yeah. You just are. <laughs> it's uh, just... I could. Go on. Well, I'm still waiting to see this more real than real bird. It takes time, Darren. Um, I'm still working on it. So, okay. So, but <laughs> since you've decided that it was fine, the movie, you you actually enjoyed it, retrospectively. I gave it little nuance. Yeah, I pardon you. <laughs> I pardon you. I do. I do. I pardon you. Uh, what are you referencing? Oh, are you referencing a Joe what Cornish you? clip on yeah, YouTube? Yeah, I am. I'm referencing Ray, Ray Fall in, in Shinzo's List. Oh, well, maybe that's exactly what he's referencing. Oh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Second-hand oh, that's reference. That's made that clip a lot better, yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, what else did I not enjoy? Is that no, question? I asked you, do you, so retrospectively, did you decide you oh, enjoyed it more than you did? Yeah. Oh, okay, what made you decide already? that? Time. It what grew did you... on me, I said it. I said it grew on me. Okay. I just I just liked it a lot more. I the loved world it. that it was in. I loved it. And all the little yes, things that they got up to. interesting that you said that? The world that it's in. Isn't that interesting? One of its strongest points, as no. you might expect from. Well, yes, it's not interesting that I said it, but it's. The it film, is interesting. The, the aspect, that you that said aspect it. of the. Stop getting it, so angry at me, please. Subconsciously, you must have gotten onto it. Ridley Scott onto is. What? Ridley Scott's world-building abilities. <laughs> so there's no faulting the special effects or the world-building abilities. Mm. Go on. Of the alien itself. The which one? It's what I'm talking about. The little bit. Uh, well, the is neomorph. that a spoiler? Oh, it's a, it's a spoiler. We're doing yeah, yeah, yeah. The little. Is that what it's called? A neomorph. Yeah. Well, yeah, okay, yeah. So, uh, what was wrong with the Neomorph? I thought it looked a bit weird. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. I don't know. What, did you not see them down the street? Did you not see them living next door to you? It looked a bit weird, that alien, didn't it? Looked like one what? of the pubic lice in your fucking beard. 
fuck off. I neither have a beard nor pubic lice, and if I did, why would my pubic lice be in my beard? Balls the only reason smacking that I would against have... your chin, you dirty hooker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, well, tell your dad to get his fucking balls clean then. Anyway, so my problem with it, which and I loved it by the way, because it was so fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was implying. Um, <laughs> oh, you got me. You got me. I'll, I'll back off now. I'll back <laughs> off. Suck at my dad's dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I sucked your dad's dick. <laughs> no, you fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only reason I sucked your dad's dick is because it tasted like your mum. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, speaking of a world building. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, actually, speaking of which, Cinematic so experience. there's the bit where David teaches Walter how to suck a dick. I like that bit. <laughs> where he's like, you do the blowing, yeah, I'll do the I know. fingering. Yeah, that yeah. Was good. yeah, I'll do the fingering. I'll do the fingering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. said very delicately. That was yeah. obviously intentionally hilarious. Was it intentional? Oh, definitely. Was it, though? Well, I have heard Ridley Scott say it was. Oh, really? Yeah. Why would he do that? Why would he do what? Include that? that scene. Include that that line. Because it was fucking fingering. amazing. It was amazing, but yeah. it was fucking strange. The bit where... Uh, Fastbender to Fastbender. Yeah, somebody's I'll fan fiction is, has been made into a well, film. Well, yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, no, I, I loved the movie because of how weird it was. Like, And that is a perfect example of it, it being a weird, weird movie. It reminded the me in many ways... dragging that woman around by a rope. That was good, while she was shooting a... a All right, that wasn't that weird. But, that okay. kind of weird. Not for an alien movie. Mm. Um, for what real life, again for real life, <laughs> on the fucking street, yes, it's a bit weird. <laughs> uh, what else was weird? Yeah, there's nothing else much weird. Well, the, the first thing, was the whole film had a kind of nightmarish feel to it. But that's every alien movie that's fucking had them. Um, yeah, with like the, 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 um, the, the blue men take, like, made out of powder and stuff. What are you talking about the oh. blue men made out of powder? <laughs> When you say it, it sounds strange, but yeah. everybody else knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, so it what? was really nightmarish. Uh, what? It, in what context was it? Nightmarish. Visually, it felt. It reminded me of Event Horizon. You know where hell kind I've of. Seen it. You've not seen Event Horizon. Have you? Uh, not? Yeah, you have. Carry on. Um, so it reminded me of Event Horizon. Um, uh, my problems with it are. I mean, firstly, I don't think it's anything to do with the Alien movies. It's a Prometheus sequel, and Prometheus is almost separate. It's almost like they stick the Alien in to just get people in. You know what I mean? Like, it's a shame. It's kind of like a cash famous grab. person cash cameo grab. in. I don't think it's a cash, cash grab. grab in it. No, I think that Ridley Scott wants to tell a different story to what he's he is telling, um, <laughs> which is fine. And, and my so, for example, like uh, the lifespan of the Alien in this, it becomes a you know starts as a baby and becomes a fully grown one within the space of about <laughs> six minutes. <laughs> Yeah, that's the whole. <coughs> that's what David's been doing for the whole time, hasn't he? He's been like speeding up its development and shit. Well, then why is it massively slowed down in Alien, which is set afterwards? <coughs> I don't know that. That's my point. And David's the one that creates the eggs, but then there's tons of eggs in the space jockeys <laughs> thing in Alien. You read, you read like you know behind the scenes stuff and the interviews and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Is any of that explained or described or no. touched upon? And I think Nobody that Prometheus it. is made better by Covenant in the way that Covenant kind of explains things about Prometheus, and perhaps the next film will explain th things about this that will tie that gap, and I'll be like, oh, that's why the Alien Age. Like so Arrested quick. Development, it, like answers the previous series is like. You talking about specifically series four? And when you said series, did you mean episodes? No. Then no, nothing like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> So maybe when this is really Scott's finished faffing around with all these Prometheus movies, it'll all make perfect sense. <clears throat> but I kind of suspect it won't. No. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And the last six minutes where it's like Danny McBride and um, the from Fantastic Beasts, uh, you know, on the ship just versus the one alien. Oh, that's how I know her. Yeah. Oh, uh, she's lovely. She's also Steve Jobs' ex-wife in the Steve Jobs movie starring Michael oh, in the Fassbender. Film. Oh, that's interesting. Um, er, yeah, I didn't like that because... Basically, what you've got there is the Alien movie, and in Alien, it took them 90 minutes to get rid of the Alien, and this movie, despite it being faster and seemingly more aggressive, they got rid of it, like, within a minute, and it's like, uh, is it really that easy to get rid of one of those things? That's meant to be, like, the most scary thing in the world. Also, the bit where it jumps on the ship, and Danny McBride's like, we got one, and he's never seen it before in his fucking life. Also, the bit where Danny McBride is like, let's go closer to the Earth's you know, planet, and the ship is like, the ship will break if you do that. It's like, I don't care about the ship. Yeah, yeah. Like, maybe you should. You're on it, you dickhead. Just do it, damn it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Danny McBride's performance was fine, but his character was a fucking idiot. Oh, they're all fucking idiots, obviously. Yeah, you know, there's an alien thing. Let's shove my face into it and see what happens. What was that What was that um, film with about the, uh, like, goo? And it was like scientists, but they're all just idiots. Prometheus. Just yeah, yeah. There's another one. There's another one like that. 
And you told me it's oh, like, life, life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a wrong, it's just what when you were life was more it. of an alien movie than Prometheus than Alien Covenant. I was gonna say Prometheus two then. Uh, life was more of, more like an alien. Why isn't this Prometheus two? I know it was alien. I don't know. I Wait, mean, hang on. A second. It wasn't alien Prometheus, was it? No, but it should have been. I it think. Been. Yeah. Or this should just be Prometheus Covenant. Yeah. Yeah. Or just Prometheus. Well, and 2. that's my point is that Scott doesn't really want to make an alien movie, hence make it Prometheus instead. But he made an, uh, an alien one because he read that apparently the criticism of Prometheus was there wasn't an alien in it. Which so he's like, oh okay, well if the fans want an alien, give an alien. alien in it. Not really, not as animorph. Did uh, you like the shower scene where? The, the, the... That was when it was all just feeling a bit rushed, a bit like let's cram another movie onto the end of this that undermines a bit alien. Well, yeah, because it's a, that's like a quick genre change, isn't it? Like it's just like a little mm. bit of like thriller. I mean, I did enjoy it. Of... I did love it. If I don't think about any of the other alien movies, and don't get me wrong, Alien Three from the midway point is shite, and the first five minutes to undermine all of Aliens is shite, and Alien Resurrection is fucking un almost unwatchable, and AVP I don't even acknowledge the existence of. Just so, did. No, I, I deny the existence of it. <laughs> if you pitch, if you show me a picture of Alien versus Covenant, uh, Alien versus Predator, I'll stand on its face alien on the floor. Alien versus Covenant uh, would be a film, wouldn't it? Alien versus Covenant. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I just saw well, it. Well, that's what we saw, actually, wasn't it? Because it was the Alien versus the Ship Covenant. That's oh, yeah. what it's called. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Uh, yeah, no, so it's brilliant. It was, and it was made brilliant by the fact it was just so fucking weird. Oh, and that's what I was going to say. So, Alien 3 originally had a different script by a guy called Vincent Ward, in which Sigourney Weaver represented an uh, angel landing on the planet at the same time as the alien landed, which represented a demon. And that's what this kind of reminded me of, a bit, uh, with kind of, you know, yeah. demons and stuff running around. Which I like is also, that. Yes, it, I mean, that never got made. So no, no, I know, but I like the idea. Okay. Like the representation and then like a yeah, battle. It, yeah, because in this like hellish world that David is uh, in, yeah. the aliens are basically, I mean, they're red. It's all like little sort of satanic little things. And they had like a little, like a meeting, didn't they? And then like, what, you know, he tried to gain the respect. Yeah. And uh, did Wait. you like that bit? It was a bit uh, weird, was wasn't okay. it? okay, yeah. Do you not like that? Uh, the only, bit I, the, the only like... bit I really, really didn't like was the fast on fast fight. I like the fast on fast kiss because that's weird, but the fight was just unnecessary. It's like, now let's get some fighting in for the kids. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. I really enjoyed it, though. I think it's the third best Alien movie. Sure, I'll agree with that. You've only seen two three, plus... Four. You haven't seen three and four. No, I mean, I've seen three. You haven't seen three? In total. Oh. Well, you've seen four, technically. That's why I said four after that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Uh, yeah, goodbye.